and it fermentation is going to set in. So I'm I'm not one that's pro flavored sea moss. I get it because it helps people to get into it. Would, but I, I don't, I'm not. Would you sign off on this stuff? I'm the, I'm the ferment garden. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at, Julian. <laughs> it's a bit pretty sea moss powder. Mm. Yeah. So uh, uh, talk talk to me. I, I, it's, so give me a little bit more. Is, uh, sea moss gel flavored. I don't know what flavor this is. I think it might be mango. Yeah. And so first to made the gel, made it with mango, and then they freeze dried it. It's freeze dried. You know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I have I have far less of an issue with that. Yeah, far less of the issue with that because my thing is preservation. This is the preservation, and it locks all the nutrients. Freeze dry is sick. I have a freeze dryer. It's the bomb. Definitely freeze. freeze. For somebody said yeah. freeze it and ship freeze it overnight. Dry. Somebody said freeze it and ship it overnight. But the reality is, a regular person who who need that every month, they can't afford overnight shipping every month. That's not real. Yeah. Oh. Ask me about how I do mine. So these are fruit. These are blends. These are real fruits in this. Mm -hmm. so this is, this like is mango, pumpkin, cinnamon, sea moss with agave. And I ship them to 26 states. Nice. This is pure gel. This this thing can be here like for the next six, seven, eight, nine, ten months, just like this. Mm. No change. I have seen us for months in my fridge. Months, months, nothing. You can't, you think it's fresh. Mm -hmm. So I, hey, I have to wonder what these people are talking about when they say it's spoiled. I don't get it. These things, yeah, these things are fun. Yeah, these things, when they, you see, when you crack this and open this, you get a sweet aroma that just knock you because these are fermented now. I have this for about three, four weeks. Mm -hmm. See? So this is fermenting. So when you taste this, it just it's just like something like a yogurt at the same time, and then you get that sweet taste to it back again. It's, it's just you know, different and a sweet That's man. a good point. Sometimes a fermentation process is not bad. Well, that's what I'm about to say because everything ferment isn't, isn't bad. They people thinking about no, like, it, you know, it, no fermentation. The yes. fermentation reaction in my jar, I set it up. I create this the fermentation reaction. I determine what microbes in it, and I feed the sugar. So right. I know it's, what is being formed. So it's different levels, and people so think I don't spoil. Mine don't spoil. It won't spoil. Yeah, that, that, that thing will turn alcohol and acid in that bottle. Right. <laughs> so people, people think you say. Yeah. People say when, when you crack this thing, if you don't keep it at a certain temperature, when I mail it, and you don't keep it, or if you just crack it as I mail it to you, it will form right out like a soda, wow. because it is highly reactive. Kombucha. The I'm yeah, also, so also not a fan of kombucha. So uh, I'm <laughs> so yeah, thing like kombucha. Nah, nah, nah uh, yeah, 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 no. Nah. You see, so you have to know your you have to set up your fermentation reaction. I have to know your fruits. Then I create a different fermentation reaction when I use blueberry and elderberry. That's a pineapple. You see, and then I set up a different one with pineapple oh, okay. and turmeric. Yeah. You see, so yeah. it depends on how oh, you setting up your fermentation right. reactions. They they can work. Right. They won't spoil. They Remember, fermented product won't spoil. 